What's going on guys? It's your boy Ray here. Welcome back to another episode of Bleach Brace Souls and wow guys A brief glimpse of what's to come guys so soon I didn't know we were gonna be getting the thousand your blood warrior characters this month already I Legit thought it was gonna be coming out next month or the month after that even maybe even in May But I guess they decided to release it this month. I guess that's kind of why they teased it. It makes sense I had a feeling but um, yeah, and it has been four months, well, three technically, since the uh, other Thousand Year Blood War characters, so it kind of makes sense um, as to why they're going to release it now, but regardless, guys, these guys are coming, and I only have like 1,500 orbs saved up, so I I'm kind of behind, and I don't feel like I'll get all three with 1,500, because last time it took me like 4,000 to get all three of the manga characters, the time before that it took me like 6,000, so... I hope we can pull um, at least one of them with 1,500 orbs. Um, but let's take a look at their stats today. Let's take a look at their gameplay. I know I'm late. It's funny because the game usually updates at 2 a.m. for me, but because of the time reset, it's 3 a.m. now. So once 2 a.m. hit, I was like hyped. I'm like, I feel like stats will come out. And then I waited, and then I was like, oh, it's 3 a.m. So I went to bed thinking, you know what? Maybe they won't come out. And then, bam, here they are. So I'm late. I don't care. This is just uh, for your boy, Ray. If you already know what's coming out and you already know the stats, then uh, feel free to just click off. But if you guys want to see my reaction, see the gameplay with me, then uh, feel free. So, taking a look at their abilities. So, Ichigo Kurosaki, armed with two Zongetsus and is fueled with the will to fight with his own power. Ichigo uh, is the first ranged character to be able to unlock Flurry to increase his normal attack hits. What? Hold on. What? Okay, um, that's really trippy. That, oh my god. He can also unlock a defense debuff for a special move and his Espada killer makes him deadly against Espada members. Uh, why does he have Espada killer? So he's a PvP type character against Espadas, but guys, there's no Espadas. There's not really any Espadas you see in PvP nowadays. Everybody's a captain, man. If you don't have captain killer, then it's like, you can't compete because everyone's a captain nowadays. All the top tier characters are captains in the game. So, I don't know how I feel about the Espada Killer. That kind of like negates him from PvP and PvE in a sense. But of course, Flurry with range is going to be crazy already. So, so Rukia uh, Kuchiki has grabs for true power and is ready to unleash her Bunkai. Rukia is a melee character and all of her attacks have a chance to inflict freeze. Just like Toshiro. As a strong attack focused character, she can unlock Frenzy to increase her strong attack hits. She can also, uh, she's also the first character to feature a new kind of skill. Unlock Freeze Immunity on her Soul Tree that makes her 100% resistant to Freeze and Status Ailments. Damn, so they gave her Freeze, eh? Not even like a type of buff? Okay. Um, I guess that's, I guess she's gonna be the first freeze here. That's pretty cool. After triggering the move, Ruki reduces the temperature of the area surrounding her for a short time, meaning the enemies come close. Whoa! Wait, wait, wait. Resist to freeze her, oh, her special moves. Okay, surrounding her for a short time, meaning that any enemies that come close to you have a chance to be frozen. The percentage of chance. Okay, yeah. I figured, I guessed, um... I guessed that Rukia was going to have a transformation type special just by the way they teased her. I figure she's going to be similar to Bunkan where once she uses her special move, she goes into her Bunkai form for 30 seconds or whatever the time is and she goes back. So I was right about that. I can't wait to see the gameplay though. And Renji um, is finally able to learn his, the true name of his Bunkai. Renji is a strong attack powerhouse with very high spiritual pressure. A charged third strong attack, the Arankar killer ability, and the and it unlocks frenzy to increase the number of hits um, on his already very powerful strong attacks. Add to that a special move that has a small chance to insta kill enemies. You have a very effective character for dealing for large groups of enemies. Whoa! Okay, so from what it looks like, guys, Rukia got the shaft. Um, actually, no. Well, Rukia has frenzy still, even though she has 100%. No, I think each. No, actually, they're all good, but Ichigo. Okay, so let's just look at their stats first before I judge. Um, there's a mistake on the list of characters that need to power up six star Rukia. Okay. Wow. So, wow, Ichigo. So, he has 1042 stamina, 771 attack. Holy shit, that's the highest attack in the game. 637. Uh, or 367 defense, 336 focus, and 626 SP. Um, Getsuga, Ten Getsuga Tensho Gran Sero, a blast of high density spiritual pressure, so powerful it can warp space. Okay, he's 20% mad, which is sick, and he has flurry, sprinter, 
we can Berserker. Wow, he has Berserker on top of Flurry, guys. And he's a ranged character with 771. And he's green. We just got Yam. Yo, green is so strong for Nad, dude. Oh, my God. I have a gold chappy for green as well, guys. What is this? What is this? Oh, my God. I'm hyped for that Ichigo now. And his power-up materials are white. Oh, there's a new Zongetsu raid coming out. Cool. White Zongetsu, sorry. Oh, so it's everybody. That's dope. So Rukia, picture looks amazing. Uh, 745 SP, which is what really stands out to me. The defense is pretty good too. The stamina. Uh, Bunkai, Haka, no... To oh, so I don't know. I'm not, I'm not even going to try to say it, guys, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to embarrass myself. But you guys know Rukia's Bunkai. is so sexy. Uh, strong... Oh! Dude! Okay. In my opinion, nobody got the shaft. Dude, I thought her soul trip was going to be 100% freeze, but literally, it's one of her attainable skills that is freeze freeze immunity, and she gets 20% strong attack, and she has uh, frenzy, and long reach, and bruiser, dude, and devastation. What the hell is this character? What the hell? I saw some people complaining on Twitter. Dude, what are you complaining about? Dude, that's so strong, and she's blue? Okay. Do we have any blue freeze right now? I don't, I, I'm, without looking at a list of characters, it's hard for me to, to think, but like, no, I think we have, we have a few freeze. Toshiro is the only one that really stands out to me at this moment in time, but wow, guys. Oh my God. I thought, I thought they were going to give her like a wonder Wee's bullshit where she's going to have a hundred percent freeze, but no, dude, they gave her an ability for freeze immunity. I'm dead, dude. I'm dead. That's amazing. And she needs eight. Renji, that's a new raid that's coming out, which is sick, because you can use that Renji to power up your Renji if you end up pulling them, and if they count, I'm sure they'll count the same. And then last but not least, we got Renji. And, uh, well, they kind of teased his SP. I thought he had, well, 751 is pretty high, but that's not, like, in, that's not the highest in the game. But 751 is actually amazing. Uh, the rest of his stats are really good, too, especially his stamina. So he has, um, I'm not even going to read that. Renji launches a spiritual pressure attack from the shape of in the shape of Zabi Mata that inflicts immense damage and has a small chance to insta-kill. He's a recharge character. Whoa, dude, that's going to be so fun. What color is he? Red recharge. Okay. Wow, so you can use the Achido on him, which is like a really good character for recharge. You can use um, Thousand Year Blow or Toshiro. You can use uh, Rukia on him, the uh, Full Bring Rukia. This character has a Lynx ready for him, and that's a 10-10-10 Lynx slot character right there, guys. Um... We'll go, we'll go through team building in another video, um, but for now, let's just look at their stats. So, Soul Trait, yeah, blah, 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 Long Reach, Bruiser, which is nice, Havoc, which is nice, Frenzy, Devastation, and Sprinter. Wow, guys. And then he needs 7, 5, and 4. Okay, cool. And then the fillers are... Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, Tsukishima and Ginjo. Okay, well, Stark. Damn, I would have been hyped for these fillers, but I already have Stark. These are great fillers, by the way, guys. If you guys don't have these characters, these are all pretty decent characters. Ryuk uh, Ryuko's 25 sad. Uh, Tsukishima has, is his own special link, which is cool. Same with Ginjo. He has his own special link, which you don't really use as much, but it's cool to have, I guess. Ukiora is a, a recharge character, and he's really good. Uh, Halle Bell's okay. She's good in PvP, I would say, because of her Captain Killer. Um, and then we have Stark, who's a beast, man. Who's a beast nat character for uh, purple. So, especially if you don't have Retsu. Okay, guys. Yo. This is hype. So let's uh let's switch over. You ready, guys? Ready for the little flash of an eye? You ready? But okay. Um. So let's switch over. Let me just disconnect this and uh, let's take a look at their gameplay, guys. Let's take a look at their gameplay and see what their gameplay has to offer. So let's jump into it. Let me turn the desktop audio up so you can kind of hear a bit and let's see. So. As you can see, we're getting a spring pack that's going to be coming out soon, which is pretty cool. Um, the spring edition, I mean, it's probably going to have some okay characters in it, but it's it's a ticket and it's orbs as well that you can get. So, I mean, I'll kind of, I might buy just for the orbs. We'll see. Um, we're also getting the characters. There's also a um, accessory ticket as well, a spring accessory ticket. If you guys think you're going to get a gold chappy, feel free to buy this, but I don't think I'm going to get this. I didn't get the last one, so... Okay, so here's the teaser one more time. Hakka no Togame, that's how you say it, okay. Hakka no Togame, that's sick. Because you really not, you really don't know how it's pronounced properly because we've never had a voice for it, right? So 
it's hard for me to like it's, it was hard for me to just say it after just reading it in the manga so i want to hear that one more time that was sick that's sick okay oh my god their character models look so wow renji's is trippy man ichigo's look sick with the double dagger man caleb in there caleb's bunch of hackers boys yo 42,000 orbs, boys, and they already have all the characters maxed before they come out. Yeah, come on, man. Pass that to me. Okay. So there's there's our beast, Renji. And here we go, guys. Oh, oh, they didn't show any gameplay? Oh, they, they do. Okay, here we go, guys. Wow, he looks sick. Okay, so, oh, whoa, he has a range for his nad? Whoa, so he's like a Grim Jow. Okay, like an OG Grim Jow. That's sick. We know what we're here for, guys. Whoa! That was his first strong attack? That was huge, boys. That's sick, though. I love the nad. But that first strong attack was massive. Wow, the range on that is crazy. And he's recharged? No way, man. His second strong attack? Okay, that one was a little underwhelming. Oh, my God. So that is, that's his non-charge-up third strong. That's crazy. Well, his third strong that's not charged up. Wow, that first really blows me away. The second is pretty cool too. But it doesn't look like the, it probably does more damage with the range isn't as big on it. But, dude, this I need to see this charge up on this third attack. Okay, charge this bad boy. I guess they're gonna wait for a big group of enemies, but oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, or not, I don't know. I think in the next room they're gonna do it, guys. But Renji's looking beastly right now. Come on, charge that. Yeah, buddy, here we go, guys, here we go. Full screen, easy. Wow, four, one, two, three. And it could hit the fourth, but it missed. Four waves of enemies that could potentially hit. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I hi that was sick. Holy shit to see that. Oh my god, to see that animated was crazy, man. Baby girl's like a baby girl's so impressed right now. Look at Omida running running to die. Here we go. Oh, oh that was without charge up. Okay. Do this all one more time? Yes. Oh my god. Oh no, Omida. <laughs> Can you imagine if Omida killed him? Good stuff, guys. Okay. We got the beautiful baby girl. I wish they gave her a type of freeze aura, guys, like they gave Toshiro. I think that would have been more fitting than electricity, but hey, whatever. Here we go, guys. Oh my god. Give me let me see some nod. Here we go. Look at this beauty. Oh, so beautiful. Nice little sparkle effect. It just looks nice. Nat is pretty strong, pretty small, but oh my god, first strong attack. But but she's a strong attack character, guys. She's made for her be strong attack. So if you guys want to judge Nat, just wait for Ichigo. Okay, first strong attack again. Pretty cool. It's a one hitter, but it's uh sure it's gonna do a lot of damage. Oh, so it's like a sucking vortex, then it, then it implodes. Okay, cool, cool. This is guys as well with no items, nothing. Even though they are a little weaker enemies, it's not even. Oh shoot, I missed a third. It's not even an attribute advantage. Um, so this is just like her against neutral enemies, with no links on. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, she's gonna. Need, okay, I gotta see the third again before she goes bunkai. Looks a little underwhelming. Looks a little underwhelming right there, but let me see this ultimate. This is what I'm here for, guys. Wow. Wow. So beautiful. 
Oh, okay. So she is in like Kenpachi. Wow. Oh. Okay, guys. That makes me a little sad right there. She didn't keep the form. I know in the in the manga she can't keep it long because her her heart drops below zero and, and her heart stops. But that was so short. I hope with attention tie it can extend it. But like legit, she just I thought she was gonna keep the form for like thirty seconds or twenty seconds, like Kim Kimpachi, maybe get some some cooler strong attacks. But I'm sorry guys, I was a little underwhelmed there. I'm not I'm not gonna boost you guys. Like, what a beautiful alt, like beautiful. But, like, you're not going to keep her in this form just for a little bit? Like, 20 seconds? Like, shoot. And then, and look how short this lasts. Look, look. And it's gone. That was, like, a five, sec five seconds, guys. Hey, it does do good damage. It does have a chance to proc freeze, which is good. But it didn't look that, over that, that overwhelming, guys. Honestly, Renji I was very impressed with. Um, I would give him a... Uh, because of the strong attack, I give him an 8. But Rukia, I'm kind of unimpressed with, guys. I love her image. I love, She looks beautiful. But the first strong attack, second strong attack, and third strong attack just looked very small. Didn't look like the biggest range or too powerful. Like I said, I know she's default. But a little underwhelming for Rukia right there. I can't lie to you guys. But hopefully Ichigo takes the crown. He's ranged apparently, so I want to see how he does. But Renji so far is looking the best in my opinion. They could have given all these characters their own aura. I don't know why they just throw thunder, but... Alright, here we go, guys. Ranged Ichigo with Flurry. Whoa, dude. That looks pretty cool. Blue and, The blue and red mixed together. The, the Zangetsu powers and, and the, uh, the hollow powers. Whoa. Well, I know it's not really Zangetsu, but... Okay, let's do that again. Let's do that again. Holy shit, that was sick. Okay, the first strong was dope. Like I said, he's a nad character, so these don't really matter. But, let's see. That's what I'm talking about, k Live. Of course, it makes Ichigo a god, man. Okay. Okay, so he has... Oh, he looks cool, man. Okay, so first off... Oh, they're all gets guys. Dude, you gotta remember that this is a character you're gonna double chappy. Um, this is a character that you're gonna put full nod on. You can run hybrid, but I would suggest running full chappies on this bad boy with full nod. And, uh, which is good because his first strong attack does melee break because it hits twice. His second strong attack is a vortex that hits twice. And, oh, that, that was so sick the way it looked there. And his third is a full screen attack. So, he's gonna be perfect for his nod abilities. Like, he's gonna be able to break any, any range guard. And then just... Destroy, man. Wow. I want to see his ultimate. I'm excited for this. They're probably... Oh, my God. Wow. That was dope, guys. They killed that. Okay. Guys, that's all I really need to see for now. That is sick, guys. Okay, these characters, they look amazing. Of course, no matter what, even if they got a little bit of shaft, these are these are these characters are just amazing to summon for because this is the first time we're getting these characters animated, guys. This has never been done before, never been seen before, and never been voiced before. So this is super lucky, super rare. I'm so grateful for Caleb, grateful for the whole community for making this possible, guys. Shout out to the people who keep Bleach alive. Shout out to my man James Hansen. If you if you ever watch this, if you're watching this, my bro, like you're killing it, bro, and like you, uh, Retro Rhino, you Platinum, every everybody's like doing such a good job, and like this is just possible with the help of the community. So shout out to everybody, all the YouTubers, everybody that does what they do, and he got a he got a will from that. But um, I gotta rate them as Renji number one because for me personally, I love strong attack characters, especially recharge ones. Ichigo and Renji are kind of like tied for one because Ichigo also looks sick, and because I have the right items for him, I really want him. And then I gotta give Rukia the second place, not because she's terrible, she still is a great character, but from what they've shown, um, if, if, usually what they've shown, it's not really the best. 
uh, gameplay, when you try it for yourself, you usually enjoy them more. But I'm just disappointed in the fact that Yuki didn't keep her Bunkai for at least 20 seconds, 10 seconds. I know she can't sustain it long, but like that would have been cool to just be floating around with Rukia. And if anybody gets around you, they take freeze damage. Keep everything the same, but just at least just give us that visual appeal, you know? So I think I think that uh, Rukia got the shaft. Um, in my opinion, if I had to give it to anybody. But regardless, all three of them look amazing. Um, and I can't wait uh, to, to summon for these characters with you guys. So thank you guys so much. Hope you guys enjoy. And uh, let me know which one you're most excited for, which one you're disappointed with, what would you change. And uh, yeah, there's a few things I would change, but we'll go over that in another video. So thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.